Hello everybody! In this video we will discuss something about voltage dividers. A voltage divider is a simple circuit that uses resistors to divide the voltage. To make it simple, take two resistors, place them in series and apply a voltage on them. You will see that depending on the resistance value that the resistors have, the voltage across them will be split. Normally, the resistor with the highest resistance value will cause a bigger voltage drop on it because we have Ohm's law. We know each resistor's value and we know the current because same current flows through both resistors. Therefore, a simple way to see how much voltage drops on each resistor is to multiply the current value with the resistance value. According to Kirchhoff's second law, the voltages in a loop will be equal to zero, so the voltage from the supply should be equal to the sum voltage dropped on both resistors. From this, we can get the formula that most of us know. Now, what happens if we place more resistors in series? It's basically the same principle. We know the current through the resistors, we know the resistance value, therefore we can find out the voltage across each resistor. Or we can simply group some resistors, knowing that the value of several series resistors is the sum of their resistance value. And then we can apply the formula that we found before. So now we know we can divide the voltage, but maybe you are wondering why would we want to do that? Well, voltage dividers are used in a lot of circuits that in the beginning have the same purpose, to control a voltage level. They are commonly used to create a reference voltage or to reduce the magnitude of a voltage so it can be measured. But voltage dividers are mainly used for low power circuits, as resistors have a maximum power rating which, when exceeded, can destroy the parts. Imagine using two resistors with a resistance value of 1 kilo ohm that have the maximum power rating of 0 0.25 watts to divide a 100 volts voltage. We can immediately see that the current will be of 0 0.05 amperes to the resistors which multiplied with the resistance of each resistor will give a 50 volts voltage across each resistor. This leads to a power of 2.5 watts which will totally destroy these resistors. Now let's see a practical example.